Hi everyone. Hey, I have my alternator out and I thought I'd take a little peek under the covers and show you what's under the shroud. Just a reminder, the Porsche is air and oil cooled. And it's interesting how they were able to get, this is Porsche engineers, were able to get these engines to run, I mean mine runs between 195 and 210 degrees Fahrenheit under all conditions and it really goes above that unless you're running like the air conditioner So how how do they do that? I mean, it's amazing But this is the fan you see in the back It's driven by just a short belt off of the crank pulley and that and the alternator is behind this and then after the fan kind of would be like this There's this air diverter, but I think what that does is that if the fan is spinning this way. This keeps the air from spinning also, and it maybe straightens out the flow. But interesting little piece of, uh, and simple piece of technology here that they added to, to help cool the engine. So let's get under the shroud, show you what it looks like. Here we go. We are now entering the air cooled zone. Okay, so it is more here than meets the eye. So if you look under here, these are the cylinders. Okay, looks like an air cooled motorcycle cylinder. And each one of these are individual. Held on with four studs. And then you have the head, which is the larger casting, and you have that on both sides. These wires here for the alternator. Okay, but then you have these air baffles. And there's ones on the top and ones on the bottom. And it essentially controls the airflow through the upper part of the cylinder. So it's restricted, air, airflow is restricted up to about here. It could still go through the fins, but then it's unrestricted in the second half of the cylinder, which is interesting. Um, so from here, the air really goes, there's three places it can go. It can go, like I just said, through the cylinders and heads. And it can go to the heater system. So on the outside of the engine, there's a heater sock that goes to the heat exchangers. And the fan is actually pressurizing that too. So that goes in here. And then it comes out here for the heater where this pipe, where this black pipe is. So that's part of it. And that goes in here right in this area right here so that would that's where the heater air would go and then back this way is the first oil cooler so this car has two oil coolers and pressurized air goes through the duct over here to another oil cooler that's in the back side of the engine on the passenger side, which is, would be the front of the engine, technically. And um, that's thermostatically controlled. So when you warm up the car, this is your primary cooling. 
and then when the first thermostat opens up, there's a thermostat as part of the case. You know, air is always going through here. There's no flap to stop the oil from going from the, I'm sorry, there's no flap to stop the air from going through the oil cooler, but no oil will be in it. So it won't be cooling the oil until the thermostat opens. So it's like a two-stage system here. Well, I'm in here, I'm gonna look for debris and things like that. I do see a little piece of paper that got blown in there. You know, this fan moves a lot of air, so you gotta check it out. Um, make sure that there's nothing in here. You know, there's a leaf. Yeah, all right, so I'll do some cleaning, but anyway, that's essentially how these things work. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.